let's see. Metroid Forces. Studies in Metroid biology continue, though with limited progress. It seems likely that we will be much more successful using the Metroids for our means rather than trying to reproduce their powers. If they can be... Uh, uh, you can continue. Okay, yeah. If they can be adequately tamed, we would have no need of a proper understanding of their metabolism. A small <clears> force <throat> of disciplined Metroids could wipe out entire armies. And once we find a way to shield them from cold containment weapons, they will be invincible. Furthermore, if we could then harvest the energy they consume, we would have a near limitless source of power at our disposal. Hmm. Try Unlimited and, power. Trying to get rid of their trying to get rid of their weakness to the cold, huh? Where have I heard that before? Have I here I, I have a way to do that. Let me just shoot a plasma beam in your face. There we go. <laughs> That'll kill. Him. Oh wow, they even have Daniel and Shoujo Ghost. Interesting. It's the last official entry that was in the game. Yeah, you could have actually avoided that entire fight. Yeah, and then scan the thing there. There was a terminal you could scan to turn them off. I we would go over this, but I just want I had super missiles, and yeah. plus we're gonna reload them anyway. Yeah. So it doesn't matter yeah. too much. I would go over the next log thing, but well, come into the room and we'll see. If we need to. We're gonna get ready to go a little bit further. So there's nothing here. Stuff about the yeah, things running. Hand. So this room. Well, you get to see them experimenting with the phase on, and where they contain the Metroids. So what we're gonna do? Why don't we give them an unpleasant surprise? Or so a pleasant surprise. Force field is engaged. Metro containment area will be breached. Will be breached. What the hell? Somebody's up there. Oh no! Interesting. And you can't hear the freaking pirate dying. The Metroids go after the space pirates too. It's great. And hey, if you're lucky, the space pirates may even kill a Metroid for you. It's nice to know that not everybody picks a side. Everybody's out for themselves. Yep. <laughs> well, that was easy. Oh, power bomb dropped. Yeah, we got a lot of power bombs now. I know. And I'm already full though. Which is a yeah. weird thing. What I really prefer is health. But I'm not that low. Yeah. I'm only missing one tank. Would you like to die, you stupid creature? No. Oh, how do we get across this giant gap, I wonder? Hey, look. It's a beautiful phase on. So, and now it's dead. Yep. So, how the hell do we get across, you may be wondering. Now, how do we get across, you may ask? Look up. Nope. Again, you don't need the x-ray visor, but good luck getting through without it. <laughs> yep. Jesus. That's like, look up. Well, yeah. I was right about looking up, but you're forgetting something important. Yes. <laughs> we just need the x-ray visor. All right, there is a power-up in this room, and you got to climb up a bit once we yeah, get across the Yeah, first things first, uh, you're going to want to climb up here. Then you climb onto these platforms. Yeah. And if I'm correct, there should be something on the side. There it is. All right. There's another platform. Careful, there's another Metroid. Oh, the x-ray buys are normal. Actually, you know what? Haha, I got you! Oh! One unpleasant surprise for you. The power bomb's great. Power bombs are awesome. We only need to blow up like two or three more things, so we can definitely go. We can definitely be a little more free about that. Actually, we need to blow up two walls right now. So blow up one there. Here? Yep. <laughs> now keep going down where it is. That leads you out, so let's go this way. Yep. Now blow up that wall of the power bomb. And now follow that path. That will lead us to the expansion of this room. You know, I can just run across this normally, but thanks to the assistance. I could just double jump, but... Alright. Actually, no, I can't. X-ray visor. Yeah, the platform to get up higher is invisible. Freaking bastard. There it is. And it's like, you'll know the platform's there when you feel it, and then you fall into the phase on below. Yes. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Alright, alright, let me read the show that goes safe before I begin. Okay. There have been numerous incidents involving several... <coughs> oh, sorry. Incidents <coughs> involving spectral entities at Shozo Ruin sites. Several personnel have been assaulted by these Shozo ghosts. Few have survived. Survivors speak of swift attacks from nowhere, brief sightings of the enemy, then nothing. Only to be followed by another attack. 
Science team believes these attacks are in response to our efforts to recover Chozo relics and artifacts. Somehow, these entities are able to interact with the physical world, and it appears they wish to keep their artifacts to themselves. We like to pay for such arrogance, for even ghosts can be destroyed. Well, they are worried about that. Yeah. All these little bugs. Let me guess. Still immune? Yeah, they are, they're the bugs that are, they are the exact same bugs from Magwalk Cabins. I wonder what happens if I do this. I wonder if this works. Oh, yeah, that gets them. <laughs> At least when they pop out of the ground, it does. And well, this will be the point. We try to go through here just to power bomb. Hey, guess what? You need the plasma beam. So fuck you. So now the rest of the doors, I believe, are going to be plasma beam doors. And that gets us to... Level Beam. 3. Yep. Get ready Level for three. hell. This is where stuff gets crazy. Things are going to get interesting. The most difficult area of the game is down below. Yeah. Only the plasma beam is pretty much getting through everything else now. Pray to your god. If you had one. Huh. Oh, there are two scan logs that are missing in the Metroid Prime Trilogy version. Of the game. Well, they're in the Metroid Prime Trilogy data. I don't think they're even in the original Metroid Prime. By the way, there's an upgrade down there if you want to get it. It's under one of those shrooms. Too. It's under this very last one. I see it right there. I'll do it! Yep. It's better to get that now so we have less backtracking to do later. Oh, Hunter Metroids are back! See, so yeah, I remember these assholes. Like I said, you're gonna be dealing with a lot they of They said that. Their cool <coughs> effects are still quite effective against them, so. Why don't we do? Just that. Freeze them and missile blast them, I guess. Or whatever. Wow. Yo, that strategy works way too well. <laughs> Holy crap. A classic strategy that hasn't aged in a day. Yeah. Especially against these guys, though. Oh, yeah, it's true. I didn't even think about that. That is how you kill them in the other games. You freeze them and then shoot them with missiles. Hey, I got you now! Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck! You can't shoot me from over there, bitch! But... Oh, crap! Alright, there's nothing in here, I don't think. There's no phase on... Dangerous levels of phase on anyway. We need the grapple beam for this area too. I need to wait, wait. Good timing. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Nothing else. So let's keep going forward. Power bomb time. And we don't want to go too deep in this area yet. I mean, just go through. You'll see what I mean. We don't want to get too... Don't want to get in there! Do not get in the phase on! Oh yeah, you'll have to bomb your way out, I think. You have to boost your... You have to go up there and boost your way across those platforms. Do I have a boost ball ready? And there we go. And we're safe. See, if you try to go further, there's phase on into your tunnels. Now, you can actually break this and head into this phase on. Well, that's not this a nice idea. This is where... The second to the last artifact is. Yes. You can get it now, but this is a stupid idea. Yeah, you'd mostly die, and there's not a save point for a while, so you'd be playing with danger. You're oh, playing yeah. with fire. Now it's dark in here. You don't see the x-ray visor, in case you couldn't figure that out. You can also see in the dark the x-ray visor. Not as well. Not as well, but you can't see. But it's not like we're fighting Chozo ghosts, so... Yeah. Regular Metroids. I think this room is only regular Metroids. I know there's a power up in here. But it's pretty, it's like towards the end of the room. Ow! Damn, you got him. Wait, let me look at the unused entry, that's all I'm thinking about, just so I can see it. Let's see. Alternative energy. The devastation of Talon Force environment wreaks havoc, wrecks havoc on the on electrical systems, especially those related to energy production. Dynamo and generator malfunctions have continued to occur since we began operations. Following the recommendation of the science team, we've begun to abandon conventional energy production, opting for geothermal energy instead. This type of energy abounds in the Magmore region. Initial operations have progressed faster than anticipated due to the fact that the Magmore Cavern Network extends just below most of our sites in Town 4. We should be fully operational in the cycles. 
So they use heat energy from frickin'. That probably explains why I have the thermal visor then. Yep. And mining operations, the last one. The previous energy supply issues of the mining operation are solved. We are back on schedule. By using thermal energy from the lava flows of Town Four's Magmor Caverns, we are now able to operate the necessary ore transport and phase on refining equipment in the caves of the impact crater. Once the system is fully operational, you'll be able to estimate phase on yields to determine whether the supply will be fit and sufficient to satisfy the demands of research. So, do you know which way I need to go for a power up if there is one here? You can see it, actually. Go all the way where that circle of mushrooms is. You can see it in the thermal visor. Oh, the thermal? Yeah. Notice the circle of mushrooms over there. Just drop a morph ball bomb on that. Funny! The thermal visor can see through that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is a heat source. That makes sense. It's probably too thin. Yeah. Is what it is. And the game's informing us again of having to go. <laughs> At this point in time, I tell him to shut up. Where am I going? Oh, so you're probably wondering why there's two separate doors. You want to take a guess what one of them leads to? Yay! We are going to probably want that. Considering how many missiles that I used up. Yeah. In case you're having trouble seeing, remember you got your thermal visor. As well. This room can get pretty dark. It's pretty dank. Yeah, dank up in this here phase on room. Ooh, hang on. What the hell am I supposed to get up though? Unless Go I'm back towards the beginning of the room. Those are the ones you can jump on. Back there. It's annoying, but well, that's the way this room works. You oh, not those ones. You can go a little further ahead now. You can see the path from here if you go. Yeah. Just jump from that room to that one. So probably gonna keep that. Just keep climbing, yeah. I'm just going to keep the uh, visor on anyway. I mean, yeah, of course. Then we do that. can't see shit. Okay, so. Now there's two. want to get to that door. That first. door right there is where we want to go first. Yes. Two. <laughs> Aim yourself. Fly! Well, it's a good thing we're here. So, missile station number two in the game. Good thing they put it in phase on mines. Because they know. Yep. Now we just gotta go through the other door, which is kind of... Like, nah, just sticking with you. It's actually a map room. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I already have the map for this area. Here's another map. What? You know what? I want to make sure these are full. Thank you. Now I trust it. No, twice as full now. I'm leaving. <laughs> now imagine if actually like double capacity for missiles. Oh, that would have been great. Oh, what a glitch that would have been. Alright. Now we go that way. Yeah. Hopefully you can reach it from here. It's gonna be a little difficult from this angle. What if I say Ah, I'm clever. Throw myself here. And then go. Oh, down. Yeah, yeah. Why did I never think of doing it? Oh And then be an idiot. I forgot about that too. I would have just walked forward, but yeah. And then fall like an idiot, like There's I. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's something interesting in this data for the what mining operations. Hang on. By using the thermal energy from the lava flows of Talon Forest Magmor Caverns, we are now able to operate the necessary ore transport, phase on refining equipment in the caves of the impact crater. Once the system is fully operational, we'll be able to estimate phase on yields to determine whether the supply will be sufficient to satisfy the demands. Of research laboratories Hydra and Aether. In addition, three teams have commenced underground harrowing to seal off caves well, rich in phase on, so they can be used for Metroid breeding. Neat. Hmm. That explains why it's in the trilogy version. That explains the why Aether exists so exactly. heavily in the second game. Yeah. And why Space Pirates were there to begin with. Yeah. Because it would make sense for the aim to begin with there anyway, because they probably just were there at the same convenience. But then you probably ask yourself, well, why the space pirates were there? Yeah. This probably gives a pretty good indication as to how. Well, pirate, there's also, of course, pirate data in Prime 2 indicating why they're there as well, so. Yeah. I remember looking at that, too. Basically, they just happened to walk into a war, and they're like, well, we're just here for phase on. We're going to try to ignore what's going on. And then get killed by every single And then they got involved with the And then the they got the ing. Yep. Uh, bringing down her neck, and, they're, and they're like, oh, crap, this isn't good. <laughs> then they're trying to make a truce with them. Which... Yeah, it didn't really work. Basically, they had to try to fight them off to not die. And... Oh, here's a fun room. 
Go to X-ray visor. <laughs> yeah, the troll with you, that's wrong. Invisible bomb chew. One of the few unscannable enemies in the game. Why do you give these enemies the power of visibility? I have no idea. Oh, don't worry, you won't be seeing the invisible bomb chew again once we beat a certain something in this place. Because the trilogy version decided to make it an even bigger dick move. Oh. They decided to bring these things back. God, yep. Lava Trooper time! Probably more likely supposed to be first introduced to the Plasma yeah. Troopers. People on the Lava Troopers. I might actually do it. I don't know. Either way, they're all supposed to be dead. Let me just supposed to scan them. And Jesus, I lost a lot of health. Okay, it's plasma. Yeah, because of plasma beam. See, look how little that flamethrower does. You'd think it would do a lot more damage than that. Maybe yeah. it'll make them burn for longer. That's probably the only beneficial effect I can think of. Yeah. Even then. I lost a lot of health. Or in the skirmish alone. <clears throat> well, don't worry, there's a save station in this room. I know that for a fact. No, you set me on fire! Ow! Why am I weak to fire? I'm colorblind! I don't know what I'm weak to! Imagine that they were colorblind. They don't even know their weakness is. They have none. Like, oh god! And they have none. Am I invincible? Oh no, something hurt me! Oh no, I'm not invincible! Anything can kill me! Oh no! Oh, that would be. Looks like they're dead. Yep, they're dead. Beautiful. And if I'm correct. Nope! Spider Ball Track. Literally, yep. you were in front of me. Yeah, you Which were. I was for cover. Yeah, I was gonna say, you were hiding behind it. Well, then again, it's not very noticeable when you're trying to fight. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, this wall's protecting me. Thank you, wall. Oh, wait. I need to use this wall. Now jump over that platform, and you got a grapple point for yourself. Yes. Fly me over, grapple. It, there we go. Yes. I believe I flew. Yes. Hey, look. Assholes. Well, alright guys, the phase on in this place is looking really good. Uh, can we inject it into, into Frank? Ah, crap! Damn it, I thought my shift was just about over. I thought my back was covered, but no! My replacement's dead, isn't it? God damn it, Samus, you bitch! You Don't killed worry, you my replacement! Sense. That. Alright. I saw another shot fly from the side, I'm worried. Oh. There's a... Is that a lava or... Is that a wave or a plasma? That's pla... Right, that's, that's wave. wave. That's wave. God damn it. Okay, so it's easier. Okay, good. And the second one... Oh, blocking the shot. Wow, you paralyzed both of them at once! Interesting shot there. I don't need... How do you like to die? How do you like to die more? How do you like to die even more? There we go. <laughs> I wasn't going to win this on that. Alright. Now let's go up to the next room. Oh wait, I think there's a super missile in here actually. You know, the... Okay, well that's the save station. I was going to say do that a little later. I'll say do the save station a little later. Then again, like there maybe... something here. Yeah, look at the iron container there. You, reckon, you recognize the iron container from somewhere else? This Not one? that. No. The one that actually has, like, a thing on it. Where am I looking? Uh, right there. This one? Mm-hmm. Oh, that looks familiar. Cordite. Bingo. <laughs> that was just dance around the missile expansion. Yes. There are only two missile expansions, and I know where both of them are. And they're both here? No. They're both the Talon Overworld. And that's where the last and that's where we finish the last of them? Yep, that's where we're gonna finish our hunt. Is there anything else up here? 
There's a door this way that will lead to the plot. Yeah, may as well save now. Let's head to... So the save station's in here, and trust me, you'll want the save station for the love of God. Take the save station! Take the save station if you haven't saved it any time soon. Yes, you'll want this. You'll thank yourself for this later. Yep. Especially for what comes next. So, let's buckle down. Time to get dirty.